<coughs> Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a review showing you Omega ROM version 44.1 which is based on um, Jelly Bean 4.2 um, First of all, I'll just show you that I flashed it It is pretty smooth, I found it pretty smooth Here and there I get a few lags but then again it is a uh, leak um, As you can see here, 44.1 and it's based on uh, Jelly Bean 4.2 So that's good stuff as well Um, most uh, first of all, um, this is not really a review because it's because it's based on a leak. Um, I wouldn't really call it a review because it's obviously gonna have a few bugs, but um, it's more like a first uh, impressions and some tips that I learned, some some stuff that I've learned. Um, so yeah. First of all, uh, big uh, thanks to um, forum XDA forum member Saturn. He's the one that uh, released the um, 4.2 uh, dump files. Uh, on XDA and then from there um, Indy got it, the ROM developer of this um, ROM Omega um, so big thanks to Saturn and Indy and um, team um, they do um, great, work, uh, great work all the time so um, I'll keep it up guys and um, the, obviously you guys are wondering what are the new features of 4.2 so um, first of all I'll show you that the ripple effect, I'm not sure if you guys so if I, uh, I'm not. I'm not sure um, if you guys realize whoever's already flashed this ROM, but me, I've actually, I've, I've um, realized there's a significant, um, what's it, uh, more smoother. It's much more smoother now. The ripple effect. I find it much more smoother than before. Although before it was already smooth. So um, that's a ripple effect. Another thing is um, a lock screen uh, widgets. Um, basically, if you want to unlock the phone, you just do it from the bottom. But if, uh, like as so. And if you wanted to like um, add any widgets, that would be just swipe to the um, uh, left, and you could add any widgets here. Obviously, at the moment, it's just got um, like some apps already there. I mean, some widgets already there that you can choose from. But um, I'm sure in the near future that they're gonna have a feature where you can just choose any um, what's it widget. And um, on the top, there's uh, there's a time there, which you can uh, change as well. You could delete, I think, and probably can add another widget there and uh, on the side you got your camera there so that's good everything works fine the camera does work so yeah as you can see the camera uh, camera works fine so um that's another feature of um 4.2 uh, and we've also got another feature called uh, daydream which is in uh, settings so what you need to go is go to settings i think it's in display um there you go daydream this is a new feature in 4.2 it's basically like um you can have uh, different stuff on your screen while it's on stand uh, i think it, while it's on standby basically you got colors here you can choose from and you can just um, start now and you know you have that there you can also do photo frame have different photos whatnot and you know so it's already chosen some of the applications from uh, my app drawer but anyway this is another new feature i don't really use it much but i mean it's good to have um, so uh, that's a new feature. Another thing is there's new additions in um, what's it the no, uh, notif uh, notification drop down. Um, first off, it's been changed, as in the look of it has been changed. Before you would have to like swipe to get the rest of the toggles, but now they're on the t uh, top, and you just um, tick, um, click that button and you get the rest of the um, toggles. And at the moment, a lot of pe people been asking this question that you know, can you uh, change the order of it? But I mean, so far you can't, but I'm sure in the near future they're going to make that possible. Um, so um, that's that. And another thing is I've realized um, when you take a screenshot, um, yeah, before the only option you would get is I think share and maybe delete or something. But now you get uh, one, more, one or two more options, uh, edit and you get the other one, delete. I really um, like... I really like the fact that they've got that um, delete after you share it you could delete it straight away from the notification rather than having, having to go back to the gallery so I, I really like that so for example if you share it just say you share it to certain application I'll just do paper artist for now so just say I do what not on it and I end up saving it and then that would still be in my um, uh, that would still be in my notification the original screenshot that would still be in my screenshot um, so there as you can see I can still just delete it straight from the screenshot that is really good 
anyway um yeah, that's uh, that's really good um another another feature is um is called um voice command um i'm not sure if it works at the moment I, um i heard that it, it doesn't work but if you get um s voice um then y you can make it work through that uh, but um I th i'll just show you that that's in settings The voice command. I'm not gonna cl um, click it because I heard you get force close. Let's just click it anyway. Yeah, I think it force close it. But apparently, if you get S voice, it does work. I haven't got S voice on my phone, so um, okay. So that's another bug. So that's fine. Um, I don't use it anyway, so no big deal. Um, so that's another feature. Uh, that's about it um, as far as new features of 4.2 go. But uh, in um, uh, Omega ROM version 44.1, um, uh, indeed the ROM developer he has added a few more things like um, uh, a custom boot animation. He's also added um, app, a multi window app. That app, I'm not going to go through, I'm sure most of you are familiar with it. That all that app does just uh, allows you to add any application to your multi window tray. Um, he's hidden uh, SMS from call log. And um, he's got a few more, but th those are the main one. And no SMS to MMS conversion, so that's an, uh, another good thing. And uh, one more thing that he's done. Well, there's a few more, but um, he's also added uh, unlimited uh, contacts to SMS, so that's good as well. Um, in the uh, just one, want to cover another app that he uh, added. Uh, interesting is um, this is in version 44. Uh, it's called CPU Adjuster. So I'm not. Uh, I don't really use it, but I mean, is the, there must be a good reason why he put it there in the first place. Um, what this app really actually allows you to do is um, create and automate CPU and GPU via profile manager. That's for root rooted user, and um, if you're not rooted, then you can check your CPU and similar stuff with that. Um, so that's good. Um, let's just I'll give you a brief. Um, description of that and um, he's also in uh, version 42.1 um, he's also added a, a bunch of stuff to aroma to make it much more easy now you can choose your application your blow applications if even if you choose uh, not to install blow which is really good you could just tick uh, one or two uh, applications or whichever one you want i find that really useful um, because previously i just used to do um, without blow and now i realize that you know one or two apps i would i would like to have so I'll just tick them and I install them, so that's really good. Um, he's added a few more things as well in Aroma, so you know if you flash it, you'll get to see that. Um, this ROM is based on 4.2, as I told you, so the um, develop options will be hidden. So what you have to do for that is go to About Device Settings, About Device, then just go to your build number and click it seven times. I think seven, eight times, and then it'll, um, the develop option will come up in Settings. Um, I mean, I've already done it, so it hasn't given me that um, notice saying that you've become a developer now. But here it is, develop op options. So um, uh, now you know. So in case uh, you're wondering where develop option is, it's there. It's been answered a few times on um, XDA forum as well, so I'm sure all of you probably know about it already. Nevertheless, that's how uh, that's how you do it. Um, at the moment, it hasn't got um, uh, extended power. Um, what's it? Um, what, um, uh, what's it? Extended um, power menu, um, but uh, I'm sure he'll add it soon. But I mean, there are a few alternatives. First of, you can uh, um, install an application called Quick Boot for Market, and that will let you go to download mode recovery and you know the other um, uh, boots. And you can also get a Clockwork Recovery uh, um, Manager app, Clockwork Mode app. I'm sorry. Um, what that um, you could also do it through there, and um, one thing that I've done uh, personally, I've actually got where's my clock mod? I've actually got um, a uh, mod. Uh, there's a uh, mod um, that was uh, made for version 44 or 44.1. And I've actually got it. This is, um, as you can see there, that's Clockwork mod. And I've actually done it through um, a mod. I'll link to the uh, mod uh, in the uh, description. Sorry about that. Um, there you can see I've got my four way uh, reboot there. Um, I'll link to that in the description. That mod was made by uh, Garing uh, Garrington. Uh, and the link would be uh, in the description so if you do uh, decide to use it please uh, thank him and you know support him any way possible 
um, another thing, uh, this is 4.2.1 as I keep on saying, so most of the kernels, I mean, uh, most, probably you guys will know this already, but a lot of people have been asking, so I thought I'd say, uh, most of the um, themes and kernel um, are not compatible yet, so you'll have to wait, please do not flash it if you don't know if it's going to work, because you could end up breaking your phone, especially if it's a kernel, so, or you know, you have a, probably a, um, a boot loop, so just um, be careful what you flash uh, now. Uh, if you're on 4.2 and um, if you really need your themes and stuff my my personal advice would be just stay on version uh, uh, 42.1 or 43 because um, it's 4.1 uh, point it's Android 4.1.2 so I'm sure you'll be able to get all your themes and you know kernels and mods uh, for that and you can probably wait uh, until um, all the mods are made for 4.2 um, I have uh, got as you can see on the top I have got uh, one mod uh, well, two mods Basically, the honeycomb battery and the blue signal meters that was um, shared uh, on XD by forum member Phil, and it was made by Vegeta. So thanks to both of them, thanks to Vegeta for making it. He's got really awesome uh, themes and stuff. He's actually updated his, um, uh, I think he's updated or he's made a new theme for version 4.2.1. As far as I know, he's the only one that's actually updated it so far. That's as far as I know. Probably there are more. So I would link to, uh, I would link the. Um, uh, the um, Sorry, I would link the um, link in the description for you guys. So, uh, so do check that out and don't forget to uh, thank them if you do end up using it. Um, this is fairly obvious, but I'll, I thought I'd mention it because um, people are having problems. If you're coming from 4.1.2, uh, then please do a full wipe because you know um, you'll I'll run into a lot of problems if you don't. Even if it's an Omega ROM, uh, previous ROM like 30, uh, 43, which is based on 4.1.2, then um, please do a full wipe when you upgrade. If you're coming from 44 to 44.1, then uh, full wipe ain't necessary. But if you run into problems, then same thing, just do a full wipe. I didn't do it myself, but um, what's it? What's it? I haven't done it myself and I haven't um, experienced any problems from 44 to 44.1. Um, any other ROM that you come from, uh, do a full wipe. Um, another thing is a lot of people are wondering why in what's it your internal memory is named uh, by uh, is named as uh, emulated in the no, uh, in the new 4.2. Uh, let me see if I can show you. It's named 4.2 in 4.2. Um, yeah, let's go back. Yes. As you can see on the top, it says emulated. Um, so that, uh, um, as far as I know, that's the new. It's part of the 4.2 um, file management, and um, basically the reason why um, Google has done that is because they've um, added the multi-user framework in 4.2, and um, this this um, this way of doing it will actually protect your data um, being accessed by uh, and, uh, other people that go on your phone. But obviously, um, I'm sure most of you haven't even like don't really use that feature. But that's why it's there. That's why Google has done that. That was um, can't remember who shared it on the XDA forum, but um, basically thanks to him. Sorry, I can't I can't remember who it was. But nevertheless, thanks. I think it was um, uh, actually shared by um, the Yank. Yank555, the person that made the Yank kernel. Um, so thanks to him. Another thing I'd like to show you, um, some of you might have uh, noticed that, you know, in uh, 4.2, when you try to install an application, it always says, it comes up with this um, notice, um, verify your apps and stuff. Like, um, it comes up every time. I, it was quite annoying for me because uh, I used Titanium Backup to um, restore my apps and it's come up every time. So that used to annoy me. So there's um, a way to get rid of it. What you do is, um, I think it's in security, just go to security and uncheck that box, uh, verify apps. So if you uncheck it, then hopefully you won't get that uh, notice anymore. Um, so uh, that's good. Um, <coughs> back button to enter, um, what's it, a multi-window does work. I'm not sure if that's a 4.2 feature or Omega feature, but um, nevertheless it, it, it does work. So as you can see now it's open, now it's closed, I can open it, I can close it, so that works perfectly fine. Um, battery for me has been uh, fairly okay, it hasn't been the best, but considering it's a BR, it's really good. Um, I, actually, uh, I actually don't mind being how it is at the moment, I get about 12 hours for, uh, fair use, but then again it is a beta so I'm actually pleased with it. I mean I probably can tweak it more, I haven't really um, concentrated on tweaking a bit more, so probably I can improve that. So that's battery for you. I mean, some users are saying that they're getting really good um, battery life, so you're just going to have to check for yourself. Um, 
at the moment you can't check your um, uh, actually I told you that that you can't change your uh, toggle um, but obviously uh, sooner or later you will be able to um, some of the bugs that um, I've found which is not a big deal for me anyway personally S Planner crashes when uh, selecting day or week view from the right tabs that's one bug another bug is uh, tint on the top of the home screen can I don't know if you can see I've actually um, just put a white uh, background uh, wallpaper just so that I can show you guys it's not a big deal at all I'm um, just like a bit it's a bit tinted on the top so a lot of uh, people been repeatedly saying that on uh, XDA forum so I'll, do, I'll just tell you it's a known bug so hopefully it'll be uh, mostly solved soon but it's no big deal anyway it's just a bit dark sometimes I realize that it comes a bit darker um, but as I said, it's not a big deal. Voice uh, voice control crashes, uh, you know, as you saw already that it crashes when I try to go into it. But apparently if you install S-Voice, it does fix this. And sometimes um, the phone does uh, randomly um, vibrate. But um, that's not a big deal for me either. For me, I've actually, I'm actually grateful that India has um, let us experience 4.2 as soon as the leak came out. I think he released the first leak in, in, a, in a day. Um, version 44 and um, Omega 44 um, he released it in a day so thanks to him you know without him I wouldn't be able to um, experience um, the Samsung version of 42 I mean 4.2 obviously I had CM and all that stuff but I mean his version of it is really good he's added extra mods and stuff so I'm looking forward to the later updates I'm sure he's gonna add more mods and uh, fix um, some of the bugs so that's good um, that's my overall um, opinion that uh, uh, India and team has done a really good job um uh what's it if you if you do decide to flash it you know thank them and um, support them any way possible it's uh, i've found it super fast i have hardly any lags um for a beta this is a superb rom um actually i can't ask much more for it, it being a beta it's, it's been a really good rom i could easily use it as a daily driver too um the bugs are not a big deal for me and um i, I think this rom for it being a, be a beta is actually pretty perfect um, thanks again, Indy, and uh, what's it? What's his name? Um, the person that Saturn, yeah, Saturn. Uh, thanks to him. And uh, one more thing, please read the OP and um, you know the FAQ of the ROM before you flash it, because a lot of the times you know uh, you run into stuff that's already been answered in those two places. So do read them. Uh, link for everything that I've um, talked about will be in the description. So um, don't hesitate to go there. And um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, sub uh, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.